Personalization by nature is a CRO tool. It's really there for the purpose of conversion. Where Marketing Cloud personalization is different is that it also takes in your first party CRM data. A lot of these personalization engines, you throw them on the website and they can do pop-ups and personalization of content based on say where you're browsing from. But the difference with Marketing Cloud is that you've also got access to your CRM and your Marketing Cloud data. So you can start to go, oh, okay, this person I actually know that he's got a complaint with me. He also spends a huge amount of money with me every year and he really likes this one product that we've got. How am I going to personalize his experience on the website that's a bit different based Based on that first party data. It's a lot richer than if you're just using a personalization engine. And I think that's the key difference. A lot of people don't know yeah. about personalization. It uses that data. So it's really holistic. And it's not just your web, it's mobile app, it's your marketing emails, it's a bit of everything. It was just less guesswork, right? I've got what their cases were or their product history. Going back to the IT data conversation, for marketing to be able to personalize at scale and trust it's working, the data needs to be correct. If there's any risk that the data is incorrect, it means the marketer is uncertain and uneasy about doing any kind of mass automation. It's such a difficult thing to achieve, but it's really the dream of the future. And for companies to stay relevant, they have to do this personalization. As you said, you've got these companies like Uber that are delivering this at scale globally.